Long Island attorney is on the wrong side of the law tonight. Stephen Morelli accused of pocketing settlement money meant for his clients. Some of them have been waiting for their payouts for more than a year. New at 6 now, CBS 2's Jeff McLogan spoke with some of those clients. Moments after the handcuffs came off, Stephen Morelli, prominent Long Island attorney, remained silent on accusations he stole $200,000 in settlements earmarked for his clients. Stephen A. Morelli has distinguished himself as a leader in civil rights. Somebody that I know to be a good man and a good lawyer uh, found himself in some trouble here, and uh, I hope it doesn't end this way. Uh, this is a guy who's fought for his clients for many years. I know the allegations are serious allegations, and uh, but my understanding is that everyone to this point has been made whole. But according to investigators, Imran Rubani, a limo driver in Brooklyn with a wife and children to support, has not been made whole. Settlement around about 70,000. The settlement was about 70,000, and you say that you are still owed what? Um, uh, 50,000. Have you seen any of this money at all? No, I did not see even one penny. We reviewed Rubani's court documents. Attorney Morelli litigated the lawsuit, won the claim more than a year ago, and detectives claim Rubani's check was deposited in Morelli's bank account and spent by the lawyer on personal items. Morelli has two homes to maintain in Muncie Park and in Manhattan. I tried to make an appointment with him. Uh, I want to see him, but uh, he don't come on the phone or uh, he don't want to see me. He ignored you? Yeah, he ignored me. Rubani says he was stonewalled here at Morelli's Garden City law firm, ironically across the street from police headquarters. We learned Morelli recently moved to another smaller Garden City location, and we tried to ask where is the money? Uh, we have nothing to say right now. Thank you. Is Mr. Morelli here? No. Police say as soon as Morelli found out he was being investigated, he made good on the money owed to three of the four victims. Victims say Morelli claimed an unintentional clerical error. Prosecutors say he faces up to 15 years for grand larceny. From Mineola, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.